Hey guys, it's Christian Tovar. Today I'm going to be going over how to make a simple rap beat. I think this one is going to be kind of inspired by Childish Gambino. Let's go. Alright, so the way I like to start off with my beats is to select a loop. That gives me the inspiration for the rest of the beat. So, I've already found a loop over here that I'm going to use. It's called the City Lights Blip Synth. We're just going to drag it over here into our open audio track. And just press import. And then we're going to change the key to D major. Alright, so we're going to take a look at how this sounds. Sounds pretty cool to me. Alright, so I like to use the loop to kind of make a bass for the rest of the song, so we're just going to get the loop and repeat it over and over again just kind of give us some room to work with all right so now that we've got our loop we're gonna go in and add another track we're gonna go and add a software instrument we're gonna use the alchemy plugin that comes with logic pro 10 we're just gonna go try and look for a cool sound to add in with this loop that we found all right, guys. So real quick, I added a couple filters on the City Lights Blip Synth, like an EQ, a compressor, and a phaser, and that was just to give it a more like a softer sound to blend in with the type of beat that I'm trying to make. And then after that, I found this cool uh, instrument called Clean Cool Vibes uh, on the Alchemy plugin. So I'm just going to use that to put a little extra notes and kind of add some more parts to this um, track. Alright, so now that we've got the beginning of our melody figured out, it's time to start working on the drumline. And the drumline is a pretty complicated part of the beat making process, so I've just done it in a different project file and I'm just going to copy and paste it into this one. Right here. And let's see how that sounds. Alright, so the next step is, I think, my favorite step of making a beat, and that's going to be the bass line. And so for the bass line, what we're going to synthesizer, um, in that I've made my own little 808 type instrument. Alright, so now that we've got our 808 bass in there, we're just going to go ahead and make a real quick bass line. So we're just going to do that like this. All right. All right, so now that we've got the baseline done, we're going to move on to the next track, which is just going to be a pre recorded loop that I've already made in a different project file. So, all I'm going to do is go over here to software instrument, get the alchemy plugin, create that track. And what we're going to do is go here, and I believe that instrument is called something bells chiming bells we can use the bright chorus mode kind of sounds like this so I'm going to take that loop and drop it right there and I'm going to show you what it sounds like oh my bad And there we go, that's that loop right there. I'm gonna go and put that a couple places in the song and then I'll be right back. Some organ sounds, just kind of give it like a, like a more ambiance in the background. 
And I'm going to use the uh, Alchemy Synth again. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to use the 60s Vintage Organ. And I'm going to put it into the soft and dark preset that it has for it just because it kind of matches with the whole feel of the beat that we are trying to make here. And that sounds like this. Alright, so I'm going to go and record that real quick. Here we go. Alright, so what we're going to be adding in this track is going to be this choir female voice. And what that's going to do is it just kind of sounds like angels humming or something. I kind of like that sound to just give it an accent and some more depth to the piece. So we're just going to go and record a couple of those sounds and put them probably at the same place as the vintage organ. Alright, so the final step of putting together your rap instrumental is going to be the mix, and this is where you just go and balance out all the sounds for the instruments and make sure everything really meshes well together so nothing's really overpowering each other. So I'm just going to take a listen through the song so far and see what needs to be raised or lowered. Alright, so now that everything's all mixed, we got the final beat here. We're just going to take a quick listen to it see how it turned out.